Hey guys, what's going on? Back with another video, and this is why I can't buy Samsung anymore. Disclaimer. Now, this is just my opinion on how I feel about the current state of Samsung products. And if you agree, great. If you don't agree, great. But let me know why you agree or disagree down in the comments below. I've been using Samsung products for a while now, and in the time that I've been using them, I've enjoyed using them. But as time went on, I started to notice a lot more problems. Let's start with the bloatware. Samsung products are notorious for having bloatware. Now, the bloatware itself isn't a major issue, but paired up with the carrier bloatware, it starts to feel super bogged down. While some of this bloatware may be useful to you, my Galaxy Note 4 came preloaded with Ant Radio Service, Ant Plus Plugin Service, Flipboard, HP Print Service Plugin, Samsung Milk, Galaxy Apps, Knox, Peel Smart Remote, Pen Up S Health, Samsung Push Service, S Voice, Samsung Plus, Scrapbook, Talkback. Just to name a few of the apps. Maybe it's because I like pure Android and not feeling bogged down with all of these extra apps. But it is Samsung's product, so whatever they want to do with their products, they're allowed to. But I just feel that it's way too much. The builds of the phone have gotten better and worse. They evolved from cheap plastic phones, just like every other company, to beautiful looking phones with glass everywhere. I mean, who decided it would be a good idea to put glass on the back of the phone as well as the front of the phone? I know, Apple did this with the iPhone 4, but it makes the phone too slippery and if you drop it, well, there's more to shatter since, you know, the phone is surrounded by glass. Ow! Ow! Samsung loves gimmicks. I'm not sure why, but they love including extra things on their phones just because. I'm not really sure if I care much for a retina scanner or a heart rate monitor on the back of the phone or screens that wrap around the side of the phone, but that's just me. I never really use any of these things anyway, so I feel like it was included to try to justify that hefty price tag. The Samsung Gear 360. You can't go anywhere on YouTube without seeing Casey Neistat and Carly Kloss talking all about it. The key to remember is that 360 it's a wonderful idea. An easy to use 360 camera for anyone that you can just buy and use. I love watching 360 videos every so often. I'll just throw on my Google Cardboard and look like a fool. Whoa! Here's the thing. Do you want a 360 camera that just seems to work right when you want to use it? Perfect. Get this camera. Wait, what do you mean you don't have a brand new Samsung phone? Oh, you don't? Well if you want to use the camera, you gotta buy a brand new phone for it. The Gear 360 costs $350. And if you don't have a brand new Samsung phone, well, you're out of luck. Because they only work with Samsung phones that are Note 5 and newer. So that's gonna cost you because you gotta buy a new phone which is $700 to $800. On top of the $350 that you're gonna spend on the camera itself, that's at least a grand just for 360 capabilities. So. Yeah, a Gear 360 can wait, or I'll just borrow it from my friends if anyone has one. Now, I know you've been wanting me to talk about this major point. The Galaxy Note 7. It sounded like the perfect phone. It might have stood a chance against the Apple iPhone 7 Plus until they started exploding. A few bad products, psh, easy fix. Recall those few, get them sent back, send them new ones, done Whoa. deal. Those replacement units are also exploding. Wait, they've been banned from airlines? Uh, time to drop the product entirely. This entire situation has really hurt Samsung's reputation. Now, I'm not bashing on Samsung because I hate Samsung. I like Samsung and I want them to compete against Apple and be successful. And I'm not bashing on Apple either. I just want the competition for lower prices on phones and stuff like that, but the damage has been done. So now here's my personal experience with the Note 4. So I bought it about February 2014 from T-Mobile and it worked wonderfully for about a year. And then it started going into this weird boot up loop. So it would randomly restart and take me to the boot up screen, like with all the random like text and stuff like that. Not like the Samsung logo, but it would show me like the Android, boot screen or something like that. So I take out the battery from the phone, pop it out, 
put it back in, restart the phone, boot screen again. Now note that I didn't root my phone in any way. It was basically the same as when I took it out of the box. It was infuriating because I would barely make it past the boot up screen. Every so often it would take me to the home page and do all of my stuff and then it would just restart again. This effectively rendered my phone useless. And it wasn't until I was able to borrow my friend's phone to where I could actually have a phone to use again. So I immediately took it to the T-Mobile store. They sent it back to T-Mobile and then they sent me a replacement unit. And that one worked fine for another 10 months. So about 10 or 11 months later, I don't remember. So like November this year, it started acting up again, this new replacement unit, not even the same one that I had before. So the Wi-Fi would turn on and off on its own. Even when I'm connected to a network already or when I'm not connected, it would just toggle on and off. Whenever I'd open the Wi-Fi settings, I would just see the little toggle button go from left to right, left to right, on, off, on, off, on, off, as if it were having a tug of war with itself. At that point, I just decided it was time to retire my Note 4 and move on. All in all, I think that through my experiences and observations, Samsung's just pretty much let me down. As a phone company, of course, I haven't really used any of their other products. So once again, I'm not bashing on Samsung because I hate them. I want them to be successful. This is an opinion piece for me to you guys. And I wanna hear your guys' opinions in the comments below. Did you guys agree with me? Did you guys disagree with me? Let me know. And if you're not already subscribed, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications by clicking the little bell button and turning on all notifications for this channel. And until next time guys, peace. Oh, um, yeah, so I also turned on fan funding for this channel. So if you guys would like to support me monetarily as well as in views, feel free to, I'm not gonna force you guys, um, but it does help me keep this channel running as a side project that I can do outside of all my other stuff. So thank you guys if you guys are willing to donate, but thank you for donating your time and watching my videos.